Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today we are going around B&M and they had some really amazing pieces in, especially the Christmas bits. So make sure you stick around to see those and let's get straight on into it. So firstly, looking at the hand sanitizers, they had loads of different ones and even these ones for kids. Perfect for clipping on their school bags and things like that. And they also had a take care pack as well, which included a face mask for kids. And then I thought these um, teas look pretty good because I feel like they'd be pretty low in sugar and just something different to have at only 79p. Well, this is the best coffee and it is half price in B&M compared to anywhere else. And then this is some of the Tassimo range. It's just so nice to have Tassimo when it's cold at this time of year. And they also had like Nescafe Gold in, double chocolate mocha, all sound delicious. And then just looking at a few of the baking bits, I just like the look of the unicorn icing. And they had some icing in as well, orange and black, obviously very Halloween themed. And then I thought these Thorntons were good, perfect for Christmas presents if you started early. And then I love these marshmallows. I used to get them from Costco and I just feel like they are the best tasting marshmallows, very American style. And they had these Chucky barbecue fondue sets for a pound, which I just think is nice to do with the kids when it's like cold, wet and raining. And then just showing you a few of the sweetie bits with Halloween coming up as well. And then I spotted these after eights, which I think make perfect gifts, especially if you know somebody who likes gin. And they also had some strawberry and orange on it, so I haven't seen before either. And then just showing you, they've already got their advent calendars in if you do want to get in there early. Um, a range of Cadbury's, Celebrations, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, which I absolutely love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I don't know about you guys. And they were actually on offer at £3.99 instead of £5. And they had these really cool hampers in. So they had one for £15 and one for £20. I think one for £20 had some Thornton's chocolates or something in, which made it a little bit more expensive. But I feel like for the price of the basket, that's pretty good. Just showing you this Revolution calendar as well. So Revolution is a really good makeup brand. And they are selling in B&M. So I feel like they're the sort of calendars that you need to get in and get early. And then showing you these ones for kids as well. I thought these were really cool. So they had a book for every day in December, which is really nice if you read to your kids at night. Just showing you some SIF products. I needed to get some SIF, so that's why I'm showing uh, you those. And then just showing a few of the Christmassy bits for dogs. These training bells were cool if you've got a puppy and you want to train them to ring the bells if they want to go outside. A wee. And then showing you some of the dog collars because they always do really nice ones in B&M. And they had some really jazzy ones as well. Again, they would be sort of perfect for Christmas time, wouldn't they? And they had some really cool sort of like storage containers. I just think especially the doggy ones are really cute. And they had sort of like every sort of raincoat going for dogs as well. I wish my dog was small enough to fit these ones. And they've got a little Superman one as well, which is kind of funny. I've just shown you some of the toys as well. So they've got the toys out for dogs ready for Christmas and so they've got big Brussels sprouts and things like that I've never I, I wouldn't necessarily give them like the raw hide from places like this but I feel like the soft toys are really good and then they had like leg warmers for dogs which I just think is so random I feel like it would take ages to put those on the dog and then they'd probably just end up taking them off anyway but anyway they had those in they were two pounds and then they had these like little granddad cardigans for them and they were four pounds I thought they were really cute especially if you've got a dog that doesn't have a lot of fur to keep them warm and then just showing you some of their winter minky range so these are definitely Christmassy I like the ones with the reindeers on the best And then just showing you a few more Christmassy cleaning bits. So they've got their scents in and they've also had this fairy liquid Halloween style. Showing you some more wintry scents that they had in. So the Febreze was $2.99. And I thought these unstoppable car things were pretty cool as well. And again, just showing you some more candles and scents because they did seem to have a lot of, of the warm wintry scents in now. A lot more than when I came previously. They even had a winter berry or frosted berry in the Wonder Blow One Carpet Fresh. I've never used that, but I've heard so many good reviews. And they also had the winter scents in their reed diffusers. There wasn't many wintry scents in the Fabulosa. 
but there was a few in the Zaflora. So they had the Twilight Garden and they had their Rose Noir and the Midnight Blooms in as well. And then they had these really cute pyjamas for kids and they also had the matching ones for adults as well so you could match. And I feel like they're a really good price at £4 and perfect for a Christmas Eve box. Again, just showing you some of their wintery scents in their cleaning products, so the Lenore and Flash. And now moving on into the beauty section, I saw the Right God and Harriet Mills channel and I just feel like it looks really nice and pretty in that packaging. And then moving on to their makeup section, so they always have really good brands in, as you can see, lots of Max Factor, they tend to have some Rimmel as well. And I, you know, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I always get my mascaras from here. I was really intrigued by this foundation, so I felt like this was really cheap, and I did really like the packaging on that, nice and simple. And of course, they also have some more of the cheap makeup brands in, like W7, and they had some really beautiful eyeshadow palettes, something a little bit different. If you're just getting into makeup or you have teenagers to buy for, I feel like W7 is the perfect place to start. I really like the colours in this palette ignore all the crushed ones and then moving on into their face masks so I feel like they always have different sorts of face masks in and they're just nice aren't they just to relax in. on a Friday evening is usually when I do a face mask and they also still have their vitamin C serum in as well and that was $2.99 which is such a good price because anywhere else it's at least five or six pounds you can see they've got the Bandai Sands water at 6 dollars I imagine that's a lot more expensive than boots but it's good to see that they've got some different brands coming into B&M as well I loved all the micellar waters I just thought they looked really pretty you know I get totally drawn in by the pink packaging and just show you some of their scents as well Moving on to their hair accessories, so they have some really nice hair scrunches in for a pound. And I really like this pink leopard print one, I just feel like that would look really nice if you were wearing a blazer, if you're back at work, and then showing you some of the hair brushes that I particularly like the pink and rose gold one. And they've got some really pretty pearl hair clips in too, and those are the Pantene Repair and Protect hair masks, and they are definitely new to my B&M. And they also had loads of the bedhead stuff that you can see, which I used to use so much of as a teenager. And then there was also getting some of their fragrance sets in. You can see they've got some FC UK ones here for $14.99. You can see that the RRP actually says £40, so that's a mega bargain. I'm not sure it would have actually been £40, but still, I imagine it's a really good price. And I'm just showing you the wall, because I've seen a lot of DIYs being done with the wall they had some really beautiful colours in and then showing you some of the bathroom stuff they had some really beautiful shower curtains in too. you can see the metallic ones there and then they had these ones at 6 dollars they were all jeweled which I thought was a little bit different and again it did remind me of sort of like Christmas time and I did like the geometric style print one that you can see there for £8 and I do like quite a plain simple curtain but that one is it's kind of like sparkly and glittery and then there's this LED mirror and they are actually usually really expensive it didn't have the price on but I imagine it wasn't too bad for me and them and this lovely bathroom rose that you can see here has sort of a pink tinge to it in actual life it did quite pick up camera and then show you some of the bath mats because they had some new ones in I think I can't remember seeing those last time and just showing you the aesthetic of this section because I thought it was gorgeous I am loving the blacks the greys and the mustards all together and I actually quite like the mustard with the gold And then show you some more bath mats. I do like the green with the gold as well. I feel like it's a really cool colour theme to have at the moment. And they had these hooks that are always come in handy. And they had the, oh god, what are they called? But they fit over the bath, which is just really nice if you want your candle on, if you want to watch a film, wash it in the bath. I don't know if I could ever trust it though. 
to be honest, to put an electronic on it and then just show you some more towels. I do like the grey ones there for four pounds. And they just had some really nice bath mats in. I know that's really random. Uh, but you can see, you know me, I do love pink and grey and white all together. So you can see this is totally my section. These towels were really beautiful and again, four pounds, so an absolute bargain. And then these dispensers reminded me of some that were in Dunelm last year. Of course, these ones are a fraction of a price and you can even get the shower curtain to match. I really like the style of these white woven bath mats. I felt like they looked a lot more expensive than seven pounds. And again, they had some really beautiful gray bathroom interior things. I did like the leopard print towels at four pounds. Moving on to some lighting, so I was drawn in by the jeweled lighting, which isn't necessarily my taste, but I feel like it would look lovely in a hallway. And then they had some of the larger industrial style shades that look lovely in kitchens and dining rooms. Love that lamp at £15, a little bit of a different shape, and I love the gold details on it. And then they had loads of sort of autumny, wintry colours in their soft furnishings and the cushions, the rugs. And of course, they still have all their beautiful blankets that are so reasonable you can get a really good quality thick blanket from here for 10 pounds 15 pounds I'm a massive fan of the lovely grey textures and I just feel like it looks so nice just thrown over the settee you can see they've also got some more red some Christmassy ones coming through you can see the ones with the reindeers on and it is a nice way to just switch up your interior if you do like changing it for the season just throwing on some dark burgundy red cushions is a real nice way to make it look really autumnal and Christmassy without being overly expensive particularly if you get cushions from B&M you can see the prices on here they're like eight pounds for large cushions I love the bee print on here they're seven pounds but I feel like they've been a bit naughty and stolen that design from home bargains you can see they've also got mustard in as well again the cushions were eight pounds I did like the ones with the elephant on as well I always feel like it's nice to have a cushion like that to sort of break up some plain ones and I'm a massive fan of these rose print ones. I feel like they look so much more expensive than eight pounds. Of course, I'm gonna point out these sort of like, they always are like seashells, don't they? I don't know what that print is, but they had that in a few places in the store and I was a huge fan. And I felt like these um, storage containers nearly match those they were silver and gold but I like them both equally and then just showing you some more of their blankets lots of grey blankets as you can see and I loved this super soft one I mean it was £10 and I just feel like that would look beautiful in a small girls room if you've got a pink theme and then these were new in my B&M so they had these letter cushions and again just great to throw on the bed and these were only £5 I thought these pale pink cushions looked so more expensive than £8 and they felt really lovely again these really large throws are really £15 and show you some more Christmassy style cushions I kind of like these because they're sort of understated underrated and not too out there and again they have them in the grey and the pink and then, of course, they was getting all their Christmas chocolates in. This just reminds me of being a kid. So, yeah, they were only a pound. And then just showing you a few bits of their bedding. I loved this pink one at £25. I just think the detail on it looked gorgeous. And then I do like a plain waffle print at £20. I think it reminds me of just staying in hotels and things. And I have shown these before, but I just want to say they are so soft for £10. And they had all their mustard in. And you know that I'm going to like the leopard print. I feel like I'm being drawn to that. And they had the sort of same things in, but of course they do them in all different colours. So this is the pale pink section. Lots of geo print in the pale pink section. And I just loved this cushion. I thought the detail on it was beautiful. It would look lovely on a settee or on a bed. And just showing you just a few more wintry style ones here as well with the black and the gold and the red, almost quite Christmassy. And then these are the Teddy Fleece Duvets if you want to be super, super cosy. I've never tried one because I feel like I would get too hot in one of those. But if you guys have, let me know. And they had loads of different textures. So you can see they had like the more Teddy style ones. And these ones are like the almost soft furry ones. I'd like to see how they washed up though. And yeah, most of those were like 25. 30 pounds depending on the size of the bed 
And then I just wanted to show you these roller blinds because they had some velvet ones which would look really nice if you've got like a more glam style house and they had check ones too. And then just showing you a quick overview of the kids section because they had so many great prices. As you can see they had bedding for £5 here, bedding for £12 and these are like, these were almost like pyjama-y material so really soft and snuggly £12. Just a quick overview of the rugs because they have beautiful rugs in B&M. I have a pink one in my daughter's room and it's lasted so well and it was only £10. Again they've got like Christmassy looking rugs, you can see the red ones there, maybe a little bit OTT to um go with a red, uh, red rug just for Christmas but I mean if I could I would and then just showing you a few trinkets that they had in as well these are just nice to throw over door handles or on the handles of your wardrobe And of course, my favourite section is the artificial plants. So they had these hanging ones in, which were £15, which is a little bit expensive for B&M. But, you know, they did look sturdy. And then these are just the range of their normal artificial flowers. I feel like they've definitely upped their game recently they have so many more in than they used to have lots of beautiful cream ones and they've even got some like Christmassy ones you can see this one had a gold glitter round but I have to admit I think they were quite expensive I think the bunches were about six pounds so yeah a little bit more expensive as uh, you can see they've also got their Christmas tea lights in at three pounds as well perfect if you've got kids Moving on into the Christmas artificial flowers, you can see those ones there for £2 and they had all sorts of artificial flowers in, red, white, I feel like they'll go with most Christmas decor and again it's just a great cheap way to switch it up a little bit if you're sort of getting sick of your Christmas decorations. Just showing you as well that they also had their Christmas scents and lots of Christmas glittery candles that you can see, I do love the silver um, glittery candles. I did think the packs there for five pounds which met lovely gifts as well and I was drawn in by those sort of ambery looking candles I felt they looked really autumnal perfect for this time of year and they had Christmas candles and scents in all sorts of styles diffusers tea lights normal candles And then moving on to some more of the house stuff, I loved these candle holders, are they called hurricane glasses? I'm not sure, but I felt they looked so much more expensive than £10 and I felt that's like something that you'd probably get out of Dunelm. And then just showing you a quick overview of their heritage selection of candles, I personally really like these candles as they tend to be a little bit more muted and go with so it's certainly my house interior and then showing you a few more of their woodlandy style like country style christmas decor i just I fell in love with this polar bear i just thought that was so cute i feel like i'm getting drawn into like mama bear and like baby bear i don't know if it's because i've had a baby but anyway yeah this deer was really nice as well you can see it's almost like geometric and had gold detail and I, f I liked these furry cushions again just a little bit of texture helps to break up the Christmas decor and they also had these silvery reindeers in as well and I thought these candles were cool for four pounds again just a really nice way to sort of mix up the decor and again just show you a few more Christmas bits here so they had these wooden style platters which to be fair I would probably use like all year round I don't think you could um, just have to stick with those at Christmas and I am a fan of deers and these were two pounds again I feel like this sort of Christmas um, wear is a little bit more subtle than if you do go for like your classic red though they did have that in as well you can see here so you can see the tartan style um, this kind of reminds me of like it's kind of old-fashioned but kind of nice because it's a bit nostalgic and again this is sort of like a more subtle way of doing Christmas you can see the star shaped bowls and they also had some really lovely cutlery in as well you can see this rose gold glitter set and that was eight pounds which isn't too bad for six piece I love the art deco um, where they've got at B&M I just feel like they've really hit the nail on the head with that selection and they also have geometric plates in as well you can see those are so cheap and I feel like they look great with these placemats all these ones as well you know me pink and grey you can see they're from the art deco range also and they were three pounds they also had this platter which i feel like just makes 
the dining set look more expensive and you have things like that and again they have some more subtle dining wear in for Christmas these ones had snowflakes on and they also did have plain white ones as well if that is more your style and just showing you a few of the other dinner sets that they've got in if you are not looking for Christmas wear. I have to admit it is a little bit early but I think it's because I'm doing these come shop with me's and I've seen so much Christmas stuff I'm actually getting into the Christmas spirit far earlier than I normally do. Just showing you these pink ones that they've got in because I just feel like they're really finished off nicely with the white trim around the edge and then they also have the autumn like mustard colours in as well which very much reminds me of the homeware that they have in Matalan. Oh I love this mug, drop it like it's hot. If you are a baby of the noughties and grew up you will get the reference for that song and I love this mug as well. Again floral but I still feel a little bit autumnal. I think it's because the colours are a little bit dark and I loved the gold handle on it. You can see Christmas mugs in as well. I love the ones with the hedgehogs on again I thought they were really cute and I just loved the pink handle on. They have these geometric tumblers at £4 and some more lovely cutlery i am liking the rose gold one there but also the beige ones as well I feel like kind of underrated but still kind of cool and again look taking uh, inspiration from home bargains they've got tea towels with the bee set on for four pounds lots of different types of oven gloves i feel like it's nice to have a good pair of oven gloves because they're always out in the kitchen so i feel like it's important they look pretty and then just showing you some of their tea towels i do like the beige ones i am getting into that color scheme and some of their placemats again they've got that geometric print in the placemats as well i feel like you can have geometric print like kitchen homeware or matching from b and they seem to do it sort of over and over again and show you some of their glitter ones again perfect for christmas and they had some of their rose gold utensils on offer at two pounds which i thought was really good started to get in their christmas decoration i really like the gold and the green but that was really classic i'm talking of green look at these baskets i thought they were great perfect for throwing in those winter blankets at this time of year and they were killing it with their baskets I, it was almost like being in tk maxx you can see they're so reasonable at three and four pounds just a quick overview of their organization stuff perfect for putting in your cleaning cupboards your kitchen cupboards and again of course this is all so reasonably priced i just wish i was a little bit more organized I was drawn in by this storage seat because I've never seen one that's furry before and I thought this round one at £30 looked way more expensive than that. I was drawn in by this pom-pom basket at £6 because I'd seen one, I think it was in Tesco before and it was £12 so this one obviously was half the price. Again, I think that would look perfect just in a little girls room if you've got toys and things to throw in. And then yes, drawn in by the Art Deco. <laughs> Um, picture frames here but they also have sort of had some really beautiful rose gold and pink ones in and so affordable at two pounds and three pounds just showing you a quick overview of their kettles i you know i really like rose gold and they had good ones in they were 22 pounds and i also like this matte black selection as well i know that's really trendy at the minute and of course I had to show you this toaster because the knobs on the toaster actually had diamonds on it which I thought was pretty cool and they had grey kettles in and they were £25 I think perfect for most kitchens and they had loads of these like different gadgets for the kitchen which I think is perfect for Christmas like the chocolate fondue popcorn maker if you want to watch Christmas videos or to fair even at this time of year when it's all cold wet and raining and you don't really know what to do and then a throwback I feel like to the 90s with slush puppers they had some really um, beautiful, well beautifully designed headphones and phone cases all from the Cosmopolitan range and they were all priced in between three and seven pounds and I know people have been raving about the ring light mirrors and they do have them in B&M and they are five pounds. They had some really different charging cables. If yours always goes missing, it's good to have a different style one because then people don't nick it. And then yeah, just showing you a few more of their Christmassy gifts. So you can see the candle and match sets at five pounds. And they also have like mug sets and things in at three, four pounds. And of course they've got the usual hot chocolate ones and then they also have this letter range i think i did show this last time but i'm just going to do a quick overview 
and they had lots of their sort of like bath and body sets in Christmas bath fizzers for a pound which are just great stocking fillers and they had all the different ones Radox, Dove, Nivea you can see some more FC UK at the top I particularly liked the cream looking one I feel like that looks really um, classy and then they also do a links for women now. I don't know how long that's been, I think, but apparently it is. And you can see they've also got these ball sets that look like champagne. And they also have the donut tray, which I think is perfect for teenagers and young girls as well. And then they have this set for four pounds. I'm not sure how they could actually make a set like that because it had quite a bit of stuff in it for four pounds. I think it's just crazy. So really good gift sets if you are looking to get those this year. And then they had loads of really cool makeup brush sets that, which were really reasonably priced at eight pounds that you can see there. And there was also some like more colourful ones at eight pounds. They also have the makeup sponges in as well. I always think these are perfect. Again, if you're getting started with makeup or you just need a refresh of your brushes, I do think you can always treat yourself. But of course, they do make lovely gifts. They've got all the Beyonce um, scents in too. And then I like these police ones for men. I know my husband likes police, so just showing you those there. And do you know what? Their makeup range. It sort of went from like more uh, brands that you'd see, like Superdrug, so they had some Revolution, they had some of the W7 ones as well. I know that's cheaper, but I've tried their products and I've always been really impressed by them. I think they actually target like more teenage girls, but you know, I still use their makeup and I think it's really good. So yeah, just showing you those Revolution ones there. So strobe kits and they also have Bourgeois as well and that was 5 99 but it was saying that the RRP was 44 99 and they are definitely, I feel like one of those lipsticks is 5 99 in Superdrug on its own because I have a pink one so I, yeah definitely worth going and checking out and if you feel like stocking up on makeup yourself I feel like it's worth going down to B&M just to have a look Also show you some more of the brushes. I've never tried the Revolution brushes admittedly, but they do look really good quality and they were six pounds. They had those cute earrings in for two pounds as well. They had the letters on. And then just showing you some of these like hot water bottles and they're like the teddies that you can put in the microwave as well. I just think they're like super cozy and really cute. Again, make perfect little sort of like gift fillers and perfect for young girls and well they'd I mean I would be happy if I got a gift like that because they're just super cute and yeah they were on about five pounds and then showing you some of the Christmas stuff so this is one of the main reasons that I went into B&M because last year the feather boas in Poundland sold out so quickly and I know they have just dusky pink ones in the BLM so I went in to pick those up but they have so many reasonably priced baubles so I loved the feather ones they were two pounds and I really like the dark pink and gold glittery ones here I feel like at a garden center they would be five six pounds easily and they even had pink centers I personally love putting flowers on to trees I just feel like it makes your Christmas tree look like it's been done professionally um, and they also had the pink nutcrackers in as well. I'm never too sure about nutcrackers. I feel like they're kind of like creepy. But yeah, anyway, and some of these Christmas trees. I feel like they're just perfect for putting in a windowsill. And again, it's showing you some more of their flowers. And I also like, again, added feathers and like robins to the trees because I feel like lots of different shapes and textures do look like you've put a lot of effort into your tree. And it, and it's, it's not loads of effort, but it just looks a lot more expensive, I feel like, um, when that's the case. And then just showing you some more of their, like, cheaper bauble sets and lights as well. I do like the presents, again, I feel like that they look really nice just next to the tree. And they had these sets in for £3, and I feel like, again, at a garden centre, you would pay at least £3 for one bauble. It looked like that. 
and just show you their silver and white section just a quick overview again silver is just great to just like filling fulfilling the tree out and i love these little penguins i think they're really cute and would look great just if you've got stairs in your hallway just popping one of those on one of the bottom steps i loved these um pyramid christmas trees at eight pounds i feel like that's like a modern way to do christmas they had loads of gold baubles in as well and again those were really well priced at 2.99 i love like the gold champagne look mixing that in with sort of pinks and silvers and whites i think it keeps the tree looking really classy they also have these lovely larger gold reindeers and i feel like they look really nice if you've got a large portrait in there or also next to a fireplace in the living room and they have loads of lovely hanging decorations I was a fan of this gold heart shaped one here as it wasn't too gold it's kind of subtle and they had some more of like the traditional sort of wooden style decorations as well these ones were a little bit more expensive at three pounds each but there is a lot of detail on those and again would be so much more expensive if you was to go to a garden center or a christmas shop and then these are probably the nicest christmas tree toppers that i've seen and i thought they were a bargain price at 6.99 like i said they had loads of lovely hanging decorations in fact to be honest i don't know which one i'm going to choose this year to put on my door because they had so many nice ones i like this one it was very Stick. They have this really beautiful mistletoe one for £5. And they had some of these really cool, like traditional looking houses for £10. And then just show you some more of their traditional red decorations. I feel like they've got the same pattern spot in all the colours, so it doesn't matter what theme you're going for this year, BM have got you covered. And they had loads of Santa said, I love lots of Santas I think it's because it reminds me of like how we used to decorate the house when I was a kid I love this one that was going up the ladder and that was 15 pounds and then they also had loads of other little things oh, like I was saying earlier like I get totally drawn in when there's like a mama and child on so I did like the deer with all the other animals on its back at four pounds I don't know sort of like John Lewis-esque and they had these which I think are just so cool for kids I think I would have been fascinated by this when I was younger and they were 15 pounds another hanging decoration at £10 I feel like I need more doors in my house so that I can just have loads of hanging decorations and they had some really great price trees you can see that one was £12 they also had some of the larger wreaths at £20 I think they're perfect you can also add in your own decorations as well if you did want to make them a little bit fancier I like these grey ones with the baubles on I thought they were really reasonable again for £10 again a more traditional one with the pine cones on and some more smaller ones with pine cones on them again if that is more your style and then they also have their crackers in I like the ones with the Rudolph sort of sticking out and they were $4.99 lots of different lights and I loved these for around the Christmas tree because the legs on Christmas trees never look great and they also had they had like warmer tones and more like white tones these were £10 so again it doesn't really matter what style you're going for I feel like they've kind of covered everything off and I thought these cups were perfect for kids so they had some plastic ones at £2 and then for the adults they had the glass ones I did love this mirror at £15 I just felt like the velvet around made it look really expensive and they've got some huge huge Hollywood mirrors in for $29.99 and a bigger one of the mirror that I showed you earlier again at $29.99 I love the archway mirrors that was £30 again I always wish I could fit gold somewhere in, into my house because I think that's really fashionable at the moment again the art deco range is beautiful and I love that table for £30 they always have loads of really cheap and reasonably priced side tables if that's something you're looking for I would also make great side tables for the bedroom as well because I know they can be really expensive I like the black and gold one again I feel like that would look really nice with drinks on at Christmas and I liked this set of tables as well I thought this coffee table was really well priced at £30 they also had this dressing table which I kind of liked it was almost Ikea-esque I'm just showing you these storage drawers because I know they would be perfect for just like throwing 
socks and pants in in the wardrobe if you don't have loads of storage space and they also was getting in their 2021 calendars I'm a little bit old-fashioned and do like to write things down still and then they also had some large Christmas trees at £100 they also had lots of Christmas wrapping paper that you can see here again would fit all sort of themes so they've got green they've got pinks they've got red they've got blues and I have to apologize I feel like my B&M is sort of like all randomly spaced out so they have some Christmas stuff and some normal stuff but anyway I do hope you did enjoy this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and like shop with me because I do them every single week and I shall see you in my next one bye bye